15 Minutes of Fame. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go. Ready? Yeah. All right, man, 15 Minutes of Fame. Tay Rock, Cave Gang, what up? What's the deal, huh? Huh? I ain't seen you for a minute. Yeah, been incognito, out of sight, out of mind, you know. But I, I see you out and about, you know, we out here in Baltimore, man, at this Killer Kill, Killer Beat Kill yeah, event. Yeah, I had to come support, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not too many times that things go right in my city, you know what I mean, as far as events, so. Just to see, and, and when I seen all the names on the card, like I'm familiar with a lot of them. Like they was around when, when like I was around out here. You know what I mean? So just to see, and and I know like the history of them. Like a lot of them don't get along. So mm -hmm. just to see everybody come together for battle rap. You know what I mean? Like it, it meant a lot. And everybody, you know what I mean? Did they thing? Got got they got they shit off. It wasn't no problems. Wow. I think it was a uh, good I thing. I sense that between a lot of them. Like, some of the stuff they were saying, you could see, like, oh, maybe these motherfuckers wasn't actually yeah. cool yeah. Right. Coming, even coming into the battle. Right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but they came in, did their thing, put on a good show. That two-on-two -two was fire. Yeah, yeah I, like, I like that, for real. The two-on-two -two was fire. I fuck with all four of them. I battled three of them in the two and two. Which which three well, I knew um, I battled Nate. uh I battled Nay from Baltimore, I battled Heron uh -huh. and I battled Roller from mm. VA. You know what I mean? And then so was, that's fire. was probably like I battled all three I battled I battled Heron when I was younger, like eighteen years old. You know what I mean? I probably battled Lil Nate when I was like I battled Lil Nate after I bat matter of fact I battled Lil Nate after I battled Shotgun Shug. Right before I battled K Shine, so I would That's like many. I would like to say it was like ten years ago when yeah. I battled Little Nick. Wow. You know what I mean? And I battled Roller. I battled Roller after I battled K Shine. Like you I battled. See the improvement like I battled I battled Shug, then I battled Lil Nay off of URL, and then I battled K Shine and then I battled Roller in VA off of URL. That's crazy. Like, yeah. Now all I'm on That was talk. before I was even big on URL. Like, that's roller right there. I was just talking much. Like I was just saying like three niggas in the two on two I battled. This one of the niggas right here come through, bro. You know what I mean? It's my my OG from VA. Uh my nigga, he puts in the work for real. You know what I mean? Shout out to Roller. You know what I mean? Definitely. For real. One of one of my niggas from VA that uh I, I actually met I met Av that that day. You feel me when I battled Roller. Oh damn! You know I mean? like, so y'all go yeah. back that far, you and Av. Yeah, yeah. Wow. A couple weeks, ten years plus. You feel oh, me? That's like pit fight shit. So yeah, Roller been coming out here putting in work for years. So definitely shout out to him. But yeah, definitely that's like them three. Just to see them, you know what I mean, like roll like they've grown. Like yeah, battle. you feel me? And, and just the, from from where we used to be to now, like. It's definitely like, yeah. And then Squeako in it too, you feel me? Like, he been heavy in it for years, just as long as these niggas, my nigga. So yeah, just to see everything come together tonight was beautiful for real, for my city. That's good, now, now I'm gonna use a play off of words. Right. Because you mentioned earlier, like these guys, they knew each other and all, you know, a lot of them probably had little things with each other and you saw them come here tonight, right. battle, and boom, and leave and go home. Right. Now you about to have a battle that yeah. has a lot of stuff going on with it too. Do you take that same energy into this battle now? Uh, like yeah, I don't I don't never plan on bringing the, the, the dumb shit. You know what I mean? I don't never plan on I don't plan on it. Like mm -hmm. that's never in my agenda. You feel me? Like I always want to come and get the objective done. Like as professional as possible, like you know, it's a lot of shit that's involved as far as niggas might be high, niggas might be drunk, niggas might be in their feelings. But yeah, I try to carry shit as professional as possible. You know what I mean? So, yeah, come Saturday, yeah, I'm gonna be ready regardless. Like, I'm gonna right. be ready, I'm gonna be on, on my shit. So, yeah, let's get it. Now, now I talked to, to Rex, the last time I talked to him, he was telling me that y'all was supposed to, you, I guess you, him, and uh, Stiz is supposed to actually be meeting up before the battle. How much of that is uh, actually? Um, I mean, I think that's supposed to be happening. Okay. I'm, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. like, I don't, I don't know when. I mean, probably on some championship. Right. You know what I mean, maybe like so we can do this face off. 
because I know that's what it's all about. You feel me? Like he just want to make sure that everything gonna get through as pro as professional as possible. You feel me? So it's needed. Like me and Rex do need to have a sit down. Right. Like it ain't for real. Like it's been too much bullshit going on. So yeah, that was my thing. Is that. Y'all at least need to talk to each other before the actual battle happens because that way, you know, things could either get ironed out or just situated. Right. So right. y'all could do this battle, get home to your families, and move on exactly. with your lives after that. So. Right. Exactly. Because that's what it's about. You feel I me? Mean? Like, but, you know, that goes. Well, again, you know me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to push a... a, a a uh, uh, friendly environment thing, you know what I mean? Nah, I just I can dig it. Yeah, yeah, and, I, and I, I you can... know me, I sit back and I watch a lot of this shit, man. And it's like, now nah, I got a chance to talk to him, right. and didn't get a chance to actually talk to you. Yeah, um, like, like it came to a point, like I, I, I like I see an interview with him pop up, I don't even watch it because mm -hmm. it's like I don't know what he's saying on there, and I don't know how it's gonna make me feel. I already know how I've been feeling, like it ain't been, it ain't positive. You right, feel me? Right. So, yeah, like. I ain't been watching none of his interviews. Me and Stiz got me and Stiz got on the phone with Rex. You okay. get what I'm saying? Okay. So like like all of this bullshit that's been going on on the internet, I don't even know what that's about, but me and him definitely need to have like a face to face, like for real, before we even get on stage. Like whether it's on champion or whether it's behind closed doors, it don't matter. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, we need to have a face to face before we get on stage because I don't like nothing that was said. You, you know, when when I talk to him, it's a different energy as far as the negativity about him goes. I don't sense the, uh, the, the urgency for anything physical to happen when I talk to him. You know what I mean? It's not, he's not actually pushing that narrative when I talk to him. Or if he does, it's like it's a jab or whatever, and then he goes right back to, you know, but I love Rock. You know, I was at Rock's, you know, uh, I think when, you, when your daughter was born or, you know what I mean? Like, he, he says a lot of that, then in between he might throw a jab or two, but, you know, he always says how, you know, like, hey, like he fuck with you. Yeah, I don't understand that. Though. Right. You know what I mean, like, that's, that's weird to me, like... Like, nigga, if you fuck with me, let's just get this battle done. All the extra shit, I don't understand. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you fuck with me, right now you showing me you don't fuck with me. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. You feel me? Like, I'm fine with people showing me how they really feel. But, like, don't act like you fuck with me. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, just because the camera's is on, like, nah, bro, if you really don't fuck with me, don't fuck with me. Like, I'm not going to fuck with you. Like, now, now, how was that phone call conversation that y'all had? If I can get any information about it, whatever you can disclose. I mean, bro, basically let him know I wasn't feeling none of that shit he was fucking talking about. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> Like, I wasn't feeling none of that shit. None of that shit is battle rap shit. And I took all of that shit to heart. You feel me? And basically he said what you said. Man, I, I love rap. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't get it. You get what I'm saying? And it's like, you make now, it's like, you make me feel like I'm the aggressor and the whole time you provoke me to do crazy shit. So it's like, bro, I don't know, but we're going to get through this battle. And that's all that I'm all, I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know what's up with niggas. Bro. i tell you what, to credit you, that first interview we did when we was in Ohio, and I asked you about that battle. Right. Like, if, if you were, you weren't here. You weren't at the level you at right now. Like, it was a different interview. And I think what happened when he did an interview, I think when he did the champion, I think you might have, that triggered you. Because that, do you remember the interview we did in Ohio? Yeah, I remember that. And it was like, a lot of people, even in the comments, were saying like, yo, this is one of the best rock interviews I've ever seen. Word, you know, word, because word. it was, it was your demeanor, it was everything about you, it was your, you know, like it's something I gotta do. It wasn't like, you know, fuck Rex or you know, right, I'm right, gonna right. kill him and shit like that. Yeah, you know what on I mean? The real, it wasn't, on the real, it was never been that. You feel me? Like, I said that in the interview. Like, before he got on all this crazy shit, it got me feeling like I need to not fuck with him. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, because at the end of the day, like, I didn't got, I didn't got head 
disagreements with people close to me and it doesn't go that far. You know right. what I'm saying? They don't get on camera talking crazy. If Surf don't like something I did, if any of these niggas don't like something I did, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna get on internet wilding the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Me and me and Bridge just had uh, had the world laughing at us because of Summer Impact. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't on the internet trying to cuss me the fuck out and tell people he don't fuck with me because that's my fucking brother. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of how he feel about me, he ain't gonna let y'all know. You get what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. That's my fucking brother. So, straight up. Mm -hmm. like, and that let me know that Rex ain't my fucking brother. Like, it's just some battle shit with him, and that's cool. We can keep it that, but you're not gonna get on here disrespecting me at all. I'm not for none of that. Never been, ever, in my life. No battle rapper ever does did that and, or will do that ever again. Like, he would be the last one. I'm not. That's it. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame radio. Let's go!